I'm terrible at pimping my stuff, so I thought dressing like a pimp might make it a little bit easier. I have blogs, blogs where you can read stuff and see things and interact with me. My main one is postmortemstudios.wordpress.com. My writing one and sort of diary blog is over at talesofgrim.wordpress.com. Hope to see you there. Hello lovelies, today we're looking at the latest incarnation of Traveller 2300 by Mongoose Publishing and the Aerospace Engineers Handbook that uh, they also have out for it. I'm reviewing them together but they don't come together. Uh, it's, it's a box set, but unlike the other Mongoose box sets that I have been reviewing lately, it's not full of faff. <laughs> um, I often do come away from box sets thinking this could just be a book and could avoid the VAT issue uh, a lot of the time. And a lot of my old games that are in boxes, they're the ones that are the worst for wear. You know, the boxes have collapsed under the weight of other boxes on the same shelf or I've had the corners knocked off or, or whatever going around. So I'm not entirely sold on boxes. Um... But if you're going to do one, this is a nice one. It's almost a slipcase. Maybe they got away with calling it a slipcase and avoided the VAT. I don't know. I don't know if adding um, slipcases means you have to pay. Uh, so you get several books in it, which, you know, if you're going to do a box set, that's not such a bad idea, is it, really? Because one person can make up their character. Uh, another person can be reading up on the world or whatever. Um, someone else can be doing doing something else, you know, shopping for equipment, whatever. Um, so, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And you get a nice big map of the explored worlds of the various national arms. Um, and, of course, the extra book is ship creation and stuff within 2300. Now, 2300 is Traveller's even nerdier cousin... It's much more hard science fiction. It has the feel and the plausibility of Alien or Aliens. That's the kind of angle that we're looking at here. It's uh, military SF very, very much. And it's all derived from science fiction ideas and real science ideas that were hot in the 80s. Though this has been updated you know, to to somewhat of a large degree, uh, but still retains that spirit because I don't think it would be 2300 if it didn't. What's curious is there are some ship designs and things within Traveller that you will also see within Battletech and that you will also see within other games from the 80s. There was a There was a common thread of of design cues like the the big round spherical drop ships from mech warrior or one of the lighter mech, mech carriers you'll see that same ship design replicated a lot of different places and the 2300 shares the battletech universe's weird fetish for hovercraft as well um, so these are kind of tells for the design of the period um, now, it's not really a complete game by itself. You'll need the main Traveller book. And the tech level is down a bit. So you have to worry about things like reaction mass. Um, there's no handy-dandy anti-gravity or artificial gravity. Hang on, I'm just going to turn the light off. There's too much light. Yeah, so there's no handy-dandy reactionless thrusters or, or anything like that for you to use. You have to use good old-fashioned thrust um, and all of that kind of thing. So it does make it a much harder science fiction setting, uh, possibly annoying for some people. Uh, you can hand-wave some of it without too much trouble, but for me it, um, it has always grounded the setting a lot more made it more comprehensible you know and me growing up in the in the 70s and 80s um the, the the science fictional elements within this speak to me and this edition has brought together other parts like cybernetics that were in supplementary material to the original 2300 
But yeah, that's its main selling point, really. It's a it's a subsetting of Traveller. It used to be considered within the same sort of timeline continuum as Twilight 2000. This was meant to be humanity after they recovered from the nuclear war. Um, and the nations that recovered the most quickly were the ones that made it out into space uh, in the most sort of expansionist fashion. So France becomes a big power again in the post-nuclear landscape. Uh, Germany, um, the other European states kind of follow along follow along behind. America's still powerful. There was the USSR, but of course that uh, didn't last forever as we as we thought it might. <laughs> so instead you have a kind of resurgent Chinese state in the new version. I'm not sure if they updated the star maps with the latest information, but since we're finding new planets all the time, that probably seems like a like a fool's errand. Everything is just that little bit more primitive than Traveller, and the only real sort of hand-wavy, unbelievium element is the FTL travel, uh, which in this isn't so much warp, warp, warp. It's a stutter warp, so you're kind of constantly moving very small amounts at a fantastically high speed, um, and that's how you get from star to star. So it's not as not as powerful, not as effective, uh, not as safe as the warp drives in the main traveller are. Um, so what is there really to say about it? Yeah, it's, if you like traveller, but you want uh, a harder science fiction setting that's not quite so far into the future where some of the politics and so on is much more recognisable then this is the game for you. If you want to... See, the new Traveller is a little bit more soft science fiction than the old one was um, in some ways. I mean, it's still the, the fantastically nerdy game it, it always was. It's just it's a little bit more accessible now. Whereas I would say 2300 is more like the, the older school traveler experience of, of the technology and the transit times and everything and feeling grounded in reality um it's book two is the worlds so you get listings which follow the usual universal world, world profile thing you get a bunch of npcs uh, you get some more details about the world some alien creatures and things um i think we really need Maybe they've done one, but a, a general sort of guide on how to create aliens and creatures um, by sort of niche and type and dominant species and things like that wouldn't wouldn't go amiss um, rather than trying to name specific species which probably cling to a single planet and you never see them again. But, you know, there's, there's plenty of information there to be getting on with and you can always use the world profile stuff to make up your own anyway. Vehicles and spacecraft... In a smaller universe, such as uh, Traveller 2300 is, you don't perhaps need as many ships. Um, the human expanse, such as it is, isn't as wealthy as the Empire in Traveller, so you're probably not going to have that many different ships for all these different roles. The one thing I did feel was perhaps lacking in this book was the sort of alien antagonist ships, the the Kafers and so on. You didn't really get many examples of their kind of ships. But of course the beauty of Traveller is you can make stuff yourself um, and that leads us on to this book. Now again, this wasn't part of the main box set, this was a separate book, but this gives you all kinds of ideas on making your own starships um, and other material within the confines and the bounds of the Traveller 2300 universe. If you have access to the old material um, that covers the full span of tech levels, like Fire Fusion and Steel and so on, you can pretty easily supplement this with a little bit of maths uh, if you want to include some experimental tech and so on. And this does go into more detail on the technology that the pentapods and the kafers the main aliens that you'd run into, the, the kind of stuff that they use. So it is relatively easy to make up for that lack of ships that you might otherwise have. 
honestly, um, two three hundred. If you took out the the star jumping element, is probably it's probably a better the expanse game than the expanse game is, to be honest. <laughs> and um, again, this is very much on the harder end of science fiction as far as games go. And my criticisms and problems are largely the same as they were about Traveller as they have been as long as I have been aware of Traveller. You have all this wonderful technology and this wonderful capacity to create different weapons and vehicles and armour and equipment and everything else under the sun you could think of, but the system itself is just not granular enough for those little variations that you might make in a, in a design or the way in which you, you fit out your equipment to, to make a difference. There's just not enough there there when all you're using is, is 2d6 um, and modifiers for a skill and maybe an upper maximum of 6d6 for personal weapons. Um, yeah, there's just not the gradation there. This is a this is a problem with a lot of systems if you're of a more simulationist mindset. I'm not necessarily, but when I play Traveller or when I'm running Traveller or when I'm designing games or ships or weapons or whatever else for Traveller, that is the mindset that I'm in. Um, I want that granularity and the system for Traveller has always left me wanting. Um, it's... It's something that I've always felt would be better as a percentile-based system, so you could have those fine gradations of bonus and penalty and, and everything else. But it, it is what it is, and I don't think you can slay too many golden cows. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's got plenty of information about different additional devices and so on from the um, to differentiate from the main book, the design style and technological style of the various different human arms and of the alien species that you might run into. A bit more information on their culture. And again, it's all very much more in the sort of hard science fiction vein, um, which is what makes it my my favourite uh, traveller setting and uh, sets off my 80s nostalgia such as it is horrible horrible decade <laughs> that it was so uh, yeah i mean it's it's great uh i do have a previous edition of two three hundred that mongoose did and that was not printed very well um and wasn't all in one book but it just it, i don't think it was really up to snuff i don't know whether i reviewed that one on this channel or not this is a big improvement even if it's in a box um so what can we say style um i think this is better art direction than some of the other more recent mongo stuff that i've looked at um there's still a little bit of muddiness but when you're talking about that military aesthetic you know the the khaki and the the bumped and scratched brushed metal and so on i i don't feel put off by that when it comes to 2300 as i as i might in, in other books it, it it works here i mean certain things could probably do with, with popping a bit more a bit more vibrance um a bit more saturation just to just to, to draw the eye but i mean even the background on the cover is is brown here and for the for the setting of 2300 that works that works absolutely fine it's it's entirely fitting so um clearly written plenty of information in there four out of five for style i'm guessing uh substance i mean it's not a complete game by itself you can't really blame them for doing that and it does mean that the material that you get is all additional to what you'll find in regular traveler so it expands your game details some of the technology of the lower tech levels that you can still use in your later campaign um it's, it's just not a complete game in and of itself, but I don't think that's much of a criticism. Uh, I was happy. It gave me the nostalgic feels. So in terms of substance, uh, again, I think four out of five. There's some changes that some people might find questionable, um, but I thought were okay. So 
just the and the treatment of some of the aliens perhaps a, a little bit you might be um curious and um some of the background yeah and obviously it doesn't dovetail neatly with twilight 2000 anymore because that's produced by a different company the aerospace engineers handbook uh this is this is a gold mine um as the technical side of travel always has been but especially in context of 2300 again style it's it's presented like the old sort of technical manuals you used to get i like it some of these are renders i think um maybe touched up afterwards but they're all great um yeah good way of handing over the information and fitting again to the setting so again i'm gonna have to say style four out of five and substance uh, can't fault that one five out of five um there's a few little things they could have done differently but the the point is they give you all the tools you need even for the alien civilizations to create the ships and things that they haven't themselves so you, you know if you feel it's missing something you can just make it yourself without too much hassle there we go zang oh before i forget it's friday i'm talking to matthew from mongoose uh not today when this video goes out uh either i got mixed up or i uploaded the videos in the wrong order or, or something but it's uh friday afternoon i will see you then there's a magical time on the cusp of true adolescence where you're no longer quite a child and not yet an adult a time where the confidence of the teenager and the wonder of the child combine in a surge of optimism hope and imagination to make some of the most important moments of our lives there's a rich vein of films that tap into this time. These are the films where the kids save the world, find something fantastical, or solve a problem that the adults can't or wouldn't even believe existed. Some of these are fantastical, some are not. Some are a loving homage to the older versions of the same sorts of stories. If you like The Goonies, Super 8, The Monster Squad, or Explorers, this is a game for you and your kids. Available at post-mort.com and drive through RPG. Monster misbehaving, planets needing saving, situations graven. I'll form the head, the enemy is clever. We're smaller, but we're ever. When we put it together, I'll form the head. Y'all can do the training, swing energy machete. If combinations ready, I'll form the head, I'll form the head. I'll